Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Hey everybody, we just wrapped up Champions Grand Finals here in Seoul and one of the most competitive Final Four brackets ever. Congratulations to our new world champions, EDG, for their hard-fought and well-earned trophy. It was such a great series. The energy from the Korean crowd, seeing our community come together in the literal birthplace of esports, meeting so many players, crazy matches, broken pick'ems, though I did end up in the top 1%. What a week. I am exhausted, I need a nap, and some fried chicken. Before we fly back home, we wanted to thank you all for being with us on the road to champs this year. And we also want to welcome the Game Changers Championship and off-season tournaments that will be happening over the next few months. I think we've also got some other people to welcome, right? We do. Millions and millions of new console players, in fact. Hello out there. Valorant launched on console just last month, and your response has already surpassed our wildest dreams. It's amazing to see how many new players are playing our game on console bringing their friends into the fun, and honestly, learning a ton from our PC players. Seeing our existing players welcome a whole new group of people in, with mostly open arms and only a minimum of controller shade, has given us all the warm and fuzzies so much gratitude. Let's jump into our main topics for today. Hey everyone, I'm Coleman. I'm a product manager on Valve Gameplay. Hey, and I'm Dan, Valve's Balance Design Lead. We're happy to be back to take a minute to discuss where the game's at heading into the end of the year. These year-end patches are typically the best opportunity for us to make necessary balance adjustments and try new things without disrupting pro play. You can expect the year-end to be a time where you see larger scope changes that are meant to have a substantial impact on the game. The updates we made to ISO, Neon, Reyna, and Raze have helped us hit our goals overall. While we did overswing on ISO initially, after the follow-up patch, the Duelist ecosystem is in a pretty healthy and varied state for the most part. And we think this push and pull is a totally normal part of live balance with competitive games. We want to ship more patches throughout the year, but we also want to ship them in a way so that they're not overly disruptive we are still working on Phoenix and we're planning some other opportunistic changes within the Duelist roster. But we also see some other spots on the roster that are in need of some tuning, particularly among some of our weaker Sentinels and our controllers. We know a lot of you will be expecting harbor changes with this patch, but unfortunately they're taking a little bit longer since we think he needs larger scope work and we're still exploring our options here. Additionally, shortly after filming this video, Vice will be joining the roster. So we'll be following her performance closely as we do with all of our agent releases. So now, as we near the end of the year and VCT is over, you'll start to see some of these changes roll out. Patch 905, we made some changes to Astra and Chamber. For Astra, we wanted to improve her total utility output compared to other controllers. And for Chamber, we improved his capability to defend territory aggressively and still make it out alive. We're also buffing the Ares to improve its viability compared to the rest of the mid-range price point weapons in patch 905. Additionally, we're making it easier to control recoil when your fire rate is increased by things like Reyna Ult or Brimstone. You can also expect changes to Phoenix, Sage, Cypher, and Gecko. There might be some other fun things in store for patch 910, but we'll update you all on that more later. But before we go, we mentioned on our socials that you'd all see a new map rotation in 908. Icebox and Lotus are out, and Split and Pearl are back in. In that video, we mentioned that we're making some adjustments to Sunset. More specifically, we're adjusting b site to make it more defensible at a baseline, removing the unbreakable Cypher Trapwire spot, and changing B-Main to reduce some of that post-plant gameplay. We'll also be making some light changes to mid to add some defender options when defenders opt into contesting. And we've heard your feedback on map rotations. Trust us, we haven't forgotten that Fracture exists. We're looking at updating our schedule and cadence of map rotations going forward. And we'll share more details with you when the next pool goes live with the 908. But for now, we want to hand things over to Brittany Perez on the Anti-Cheat team to talk about Vanguard and share some pretty exciting news about Ranked. Get good, don't cheat. Hey everyone, I'm Brittany, an analyst with the Anti-Cheat team on Valorant. You probably already know that Valorant uses an anti-cheat system called Vanguard to keep the playing field fair and keep cheaters out of our game. In fact, only 1% of Valorant games have cheaters and the average cheater is caught and banned within their first six games. Valorant's debut on console marks a significant milestone for us, with anti-cheat both dealing with a new platform and new classes of cheats like input spoofing, aka zimming. We've done a pretty good job of proactively catching and banning users of these tools. Our anti-cheat for console will continue to evolve as cheaters do, and we're looking to stay ahead of the curve. But we know on occasion that some of you on PC or console might run into a cheater and that cheater isn't banned and the match isn't terminated. You might be wondering, if the Vanguard team is so good, how are the cheaters able to play without getting red screened? 
Vanguard is a delicate tango of prevention and detection. We strive to block cheats outright, but when immediately blocking a cheat would make our techniques too transparent, we detect the intrusion and delay our response. While we agree that the delay isn't ideal, it's an integral ingredient for your anti-cheat chefs to cook up better detections. But as a way to make it up to all of you honest gamers out there, we're happy to announce that Valorant is working on implementing ranked rollbacks. Basically, if you played and lost a game with a cheater on the other team, and that cheater was later banned, you'll receive a refund of any RR lost. The anti-cheat space is a never-ending battle, and despite our polite requests for cheaters to stop, some will always try to cheat. Keep up the excellent work reporting suspicious behavior, and we'll continue keeping your games a safe and competitive environment. Hey everyone, Steven here. Our teams manage the player behavior experience in Val. When Anna made her statement about keeping our community healthy a couple of months ago, we worked together to make a few commitments to you. We have significantly accelerated the severity of penalties received for comms abuse. And we've expanded the restrictions on gameplay to include all team-based modes, not just competitive and premiere. And we also unlocked hardware bans for behavior. We'll only issue these for cases where we manually review. We took a look at those manual review processes and audited them. We now have clearer steps for who needs to be involved and when so that we can have faster manual escalations. And we're also staffing support to review a higher volume of repeat offenders. If you've been repeatedly disruptive over the past episode, you received a notification a couple of weeks ago. Any subsequent behavior events will be weighed more heavily. If you're disruptive, expect a ban. We know that voice is still a major area for comms abuse. And we started a beta for automated voice evaluation in North America last year. We've seen good results so far and are committed to rolling out voice evaluation globally and that's coming before the end of the year. However, building confidence around other languages is taking longer than we anticipated. So we'll support English globally first and rolling out additional languages over time. We need to continue to invest heavily here and are committed to doing so. If you did your placement matches and received a rank, you probably placed a little bit lower than where you were last season. We feel the pros and the cons to resets. Regular resets help to shake out the inconsistencies and maintain a consistent definition of skill at every level. At the same time, not seeing that rank that you worked so hard to achieve can be rough. We're currently looking into ways to keep the benefits of resetting ranks while providing more opportunities for upside to balance against that feels bad. Now to our new console friends, welcome. Champs is such a perfect moment to join us. You get to see Val framed at the highest level of competition. We're so excited for each of you to start on your own competitive journey in Val. To those players who have been with us since the beta, you notice that we had to adjust the way that we calculated rank from beta to launch. When we turned on the competitive queue for console, we estimated where folks would place with an all new player base and so many players joining us all at once. And after a couple months of testing, we saw that players were climbing the ranks faster than we had anticipated and the stats behind it didn't quite match up. So we reset ranks and have a more effective rank distribution on console now. Going forward, both console and PC will reset rank at the same cadence, though console players shouldn't expect a change as big as the beta adjustment. We're just getting warmed up. We'll be back soon on our socials with a refresher on Ranked 101 and later to discuss some spicier topics before end of year. Oh, hey, we're back. Oh, sorry. I mean, I told them about the chicken. Why don't you take this one? All right, thanks for watching everyone. And thanks for all your hype and feedback throughout the year. We'll see you all in November at the Game Changers Championship and we'll be back in January with the new VCT season and another dev update to kick off 2025. Val's five-year anniversary, 2025, is going to be such an amazing year, and we can't wait to tell you all about it. In the meantime, be good to each other and enjoy your games. Wait, where did that come from? Here comes a party. Wait, everybody's gone. Yeah, I just really wanted to shoot this uh, thing. All right, bye, everybody.